In this video tutorial I'm going to be talking about using narrow elastic in fashion sewing. I'm Colleen G. Lee and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. Here I have three examples of narrow elastics. The width ranges from a quarter of an inch which is about five millimetres to three quarters of an inch which is two centimetres. That is what you class as narrow elastic. The first one is what is referred to as non-roll elastic but I think most of us refer to it as recognisable as very common regular elastic. The second is a clear plastic elastic and this um, was primarily designed for swimwear and the third is elastic that is used on underwear. The first elastic we're going to look at is the non roll elastic, the regular elastic that I think most of us would recognise and as I said before they come in different widths. Now this, is, this elastic is actually covered with um, a fibre and the elastic is um, in narrow strips within it. The disadvantage to this elastic is once you cut it, it does fray at the ends and also once it's actually stitched onto the inside of the garment, usually on the wrong side, um, what can happen is that the elasticity is actually lost after, you, you know, time of wear and tear. The next one is the clear elastic, also known as invisible elastic. And the quality of this one is that it is lightweight. So if I actually blow, that's how lightweight it is. It's actually a beautiful elastic to work with. Um, it has a 100% recovery rate. So what it basically means that once it actually is pulled and snaps back, it will go back to its original length. And also after a time, it will also keep its um, original properties, which is the elasticity. Um, another great quality of this is that it's so thin to work with and it does feel lightweight within your sewing project as well so it doesn't give it any weight or any extra bulk which you could find with the previous elastic I just demonstrated. The third elastic is what is used on ladies underwear and it is a finished elastic and this elastic is what you called um, exposed elastic so it would actually be put onto the right side of the fabric and it has a looped edging to it to make it look more look more pretty and that is actually called picot um, is referred to as picot now this elastic is has the same qualities as the previous ones um, it is covered in a uh, fabric and you can also find it in many different ranges. You can even get lace type um, elastic that um, has this picot edging as well. And it really is beautiful to work with. It's a lot more flexible, pliable kind of elastic. And I would say it's a lot more gentler on the skin. And I think that's one of the reasons why it has to be because it's worked in um, underwear. Now I'm going to do the um, elastic test. Um, on my cutting mat here, these boxes represent 5 centimetres, which is um, 2 inches. So I'm going to start there and pull. Let's see how far it will go. So it's almost, yeah, double or just over the actual stretch of the elastic, original length. Same with the clear elastic. You can get that a little bit more. Yeah, that gives a lot more stretch. Let's see what it happens when it's recovery. Yes, same. And the last one, now that is about the same as the clear elastic. It does feel a lot more tall, so there's no more give. And with the clear elastic, there's a little bit more give. And also with this elastic to the peacock edge elastic, because of its suppleness. I'll just do a little recap for you. Using the uh, peacock edge elastic which is as I said before for underwear um, it's around the leg area and the waist area and you can get it in so many different colours in so many different types of laced elastic as well as the one I've just shown you here. Now the clear elastic and the regular elastic which is a black one are, um, that I refer to as the flat um, non-roll elastic they are more or less in competition with each other and I would definitely say experiment with them both and see which one you'd actually prefer. I prefer to work with the clear elastic because of its lightweightness and the fact that you can buy in also different widths and also the fact that it can last in a garment a lot longer than the black elastic. So do experiment, do build up a stash of different types of elastic and different widths because you will find that at some stage you will be using it in a sewing project. Now if you have any comments or queries please put them in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.